Chiefs Kingdom, are you ready for some breaking news? Just when we thought we had our 53-man roster locked, the Chiefs have made a bold move that could change everything. A new defensive tackle is joining the practice squad, and you won't want to miss the implications for our playoff push. Dive in with me as we explore this thrilling addition, and make sure to subscribe for more insider updates. All right, Kansas City Chiefs fans, let's dive into the latest news that has just shaken up our roster. Just when we thought we had everything set, the Chiefs have made yet another strategic move that demands our attention. On Friday afternoon, we witnessed a flurry of roster maneuvers that solidified our 53-man roster and a 17-player practice squad. Initially, it seemed like we had our perfect lineup, but hold on, things just got a bit more interesting. Hours after those roster adjustments, the Chiefs decided to bring in former Philadelphia Eagles defensive tackle Marlon Tuipolotu to our practice squad, according to insider Mike Garofalo. Now, let's break this down. Tuipolotu, who just turned 25 in May, was drafted in the sixth round out of USC in 2021. He's also the brother of Tuli Tuipolotu, a second-round pick by the Los Angeles Chargers this year, so there's definitely some talent in the family. Now, let's look at Tuipolotu's track record with the Eagles. He played 28 games with just one start over his three seasons, racking up 43 tackles. Yes, you heard that right. With four of those for loss, three sacks, and four quarterback hits. But here's the kicker. His highest snap count in a season was just 232 in 2022, which was only 21% of the Eagles' defensive snaps. So, while he brings intriguing potential to the table, it's clear he hasn't been a regular contributor. What does this mean for the Chiefs? Well, we need to consider how Tui Pelotu fits into our defensive line rotation. Given the depth we currently have, he's not likely to see the field, unless we run into some injuries or performance issues with our existing players. And let's not forget, for Tui Pelotu to join the practice squad, someone else will need to be released. Right now, we've got defensive tackles like Fabian Lovett, Neil Farrell, and Matt Dickerson all fighting for their spots. In summary, the addition of Marlon Tuipolotu is a calculated risk by the Chiefs, one that could pay off down the road. It's a move that reflects our front office's commitment to depth and adaptability as we gear up for what promises to be another thrilling season. Now, I want to hear from you, Chiefs Kingdom. What do you think about this signing? Is Tuipolotu the hidden gem we've been looking for, or just another player to fill the roster? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and let's get that conversation going. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates. Let's keep this energy rolling, folks.